Welcome to the Vandy Band Series 11, where we're going over the second part, part two of the brass family, where we're going to look at some more brass instruments. And the beast. Oh, oh, sorry. I also wanted to show you a keyed bugle, which was a very strange instrument uh, that kind of faded out of popularity. But here's the keyed trumpet with the Haydn Trumpet Concerto an E-flat major. Here's also Marcus Wurst on the Hummel Trumpet Concerto on the key trumpet. What I think is really cool is that it's storming outside, which is kind of sounding cool, but also that the uh, circular cornet, I found a um, recording of the circular cornet, so we're gonna watch that today too. So you can see he's playing a circular uh, cornet. He has a mute in the end of it. Remember, a mute is something you put in the end of the instrument to make it sound different or uh, to quite quieten it or soften it. Here's more on the rare circular cornet. Bet you've never seen a horn like this, because honestly, I've never seen a horn like this. This is the DeLacy. In A and A flat. You can see a little bit of the bell work there. I'll have pictures up on the collection um, viewing. Let me give you a little sample of it. There's a buzz somewhere you can hear. Um, and it could be from the cool spring setup. Let's see if I can get that closer. Yeah, check out right where my finger is. There's a spring for the water key there. Still as old as time, song as old as rhyme, beauty. Okay, the next instrument is called the flugelhorn. Remember the flugelhorn you're gonna see in certain cases like maybe a solo or in jazz or maybe even a marching band uh, solo. So flugel, you're gonna see the differences between the bell, how it's shaped, and take uh, particular notice to all those things so that if you ever see a flugelhorn, you'll know it's a flugel. There's a quick comparison to what the shapes of them look. We're not gonna watch that today, but you can see that the cornet's on the right, the smaller one, the trumpet's at the top, and then the flugelhorn is there on the bottom left.
Then we get to our last instrument, the trumpet, with the three valves, uh, piston valves, as we talked about last week. Um, so the trumpet, T-R-U-M-P-E-T. -E and remember, the trumpet is in the same key as the clarinet. They're both in the key of B-flat. And yes, there are trumpets out there in different keys. They use different keys uh, in different places, maybe in Europe and different places of the world, uh, or you might see them in certain pieces. So yes, there are different key trumpets that you can own and you can play in different keys, just like there's different types of harmonicas, if you didn't know that, there's different types and different keys. So same thing for trumpets. Also in the background, you might hear kids' toys or kids, but that's okay. Um, sometimes on trumpet, remember, they can be silver, but they can also be lacquer. L-A-C-Q-U-E-R, lacquer is just brass. Um, they might also see different types of brass, like rose brass, um, different things of that nature. Uh, you might even see something nickel-plated instruments, uh, but those are the, the main types of plating that you're going to see on brass instruments. Just as a little extra bonus, I'm going to show you a little piece just real quickly of a piccolo trumpet. Most of the time it has four valves, um, and it's smaller. It's like a piccolo, like a flute, a small piccolo. It's called, named after that piccolo trumpet. So sometimes I'll hear a shortened version like pick, P-I-C, for a trumpet, or a pick, P-I-C, for a woodwind instrument, which is a smaller flute that plays an octave higher. So the same thing on this trumpet. It's going to play up higher, octave higher. Just so we talk about a little bit, that was Rhapsody in Blue. That was by Gershwin. Normally that solo was played by a clarinet, but uh, they changed it over there to a pick, uh, piccolo trumpet. Um, real quick, too, we went over baritone, euphonium, tuba, and sousaphone. If you will send me a live grades message or an email at scdavis at k12.wv.us, just send me the differences between um, the baritone and the euphonium, how they are different, and then send me how the tuba and sousaphone are different. I'll see you next time. Sorry, I got to go. I got a cell phone call. I'll talk to you guys later.